welcome to today's episode where we are test riding the brand new Harley Davidson Road Glide 3, which they've recently announced for 2023. Significant changes on this trike model. You've got the Road Glide front fairing, which people have asked for for a while. We've gotten a couple of requests through our shop, Blockhead Garage, uh, for these conversions, basically like throwing a Road Glide fairing on a trike. So Harley Davidson listened to the community and they've basically added it to their trike lineup. In my opinion, great move. It looks super aggressive, very like muscly. They've also got new 18 inch rear wheels on it. So they basically made the rear wheels larger. It really adds like an aggressive stance to it. it comes with a 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8. Lots of chrome on this one. Pretty standard for the rest of the stuff. You got dual disc front brakes. So you got a pretty good trunk area here. So twist the knob there. I mean, like, it's like probably like a one body trunk, maybe, maybe like a half a body trunk. That's a measurement, right? Like that's how they measure trunks, trunk space. <laughs> if you guys want like more of those really like detailed tech specs, head over to the website. I'll drop a link down in the description below so you guys can check all that out. Check out the pricing and uh, the rest of it if you guys want. Let's just go ahead and we'll jump on the bike and uh, get into the test ride portion. I got these freaking fenders and wheels behind me so I can't get as close to the sides as I normally would. I'll tell you what, before we get too far over there, let's stop and do our traditional go over the test ride controls and stuff. Pop it in neutral real quick. Bloop, I'm out of everybody's way. All right, guys, so here on the left side, you've got your trigger switch, which is gonna be to change the options. So you've got it set on trip B right now, then remaining mileage. So every time you press, it changes. Front wheel, tire pressure sensor, your rear, so 3628. Wow, that's cool. So RR was right rear. Then you got your odometer, 663 on here. Then back to trip A. All right, then you have your traction control button, your horn, high beam, low beam, and pass light, which indicates there as well, so right there. And you've got your left indicator, uh, your voice coming and so if you've basically got an infotainment linked up to a phone or something like that yeah you press that and you've got a toggle for menu options and whatnot so you can go through different radio stations tuning volume up volume down all that and then cruise control the clutch got your little lighter piece right here we're going to plug that back in got some storage here speak on the left you got your fuel gauge you got your thing for your top vent we're going to leave that open because it's like getting a little warm then you got your head unit obviously here uh, which does work with gloves so you've got music navigation and then phone various other options in here we could uh, spend a lot of time in this whole thing so we're just going to leave it on uh let's put on navigation the right side we've got our volt meter then for gauges we've got miles per hour on the left a lot of uh indicator lights in there and then rpms on the right right side front brake throttle on off hazards start also reverse right indicator and then your back for menu and then more um like a little joystick for your menu options as well and then some storage here as well so road glide front fairing on this thing crazy different as the biggest thing you have to remember about this bike going from like the two wheels to the three wheels is that like i can't take turns corners and stuff near what i could with I'm just got jumping yeah with two wheels and then oh man the turning feels so weird because whenever you go to turn it's like the weight of it wants to shift like left and right like in this direction the g's if you will yeah i mean you can still lean into it obviously but like if you lean over you're like still standing in the same part of the lane so the significance of it being a road glide fairing on this thing instead of a street glide fairing like the previous trikes is that it has the perks of the road glide fairing so what that means is that the road glide fairing is frame mounted and the street glide fairing is bar mounted or mounted to the forks rather and so this fairing does not move whenever you go to like turn it and stuff so it's basically stationary and whenever it catches wind that wind and whatnot you know any of that like buffeting or the, the wind feel is not going to translate over <laughs> it's not going to translate into the bars so that's the perk it's going to be a much smoother feeling ride whereas the street glide you know since it is mounted to the forks if there's a good amount of wind you're going to be able to feel that in the bars the road glide fairing is amazing for blocking wind for basically like giving you this nice little bubble of wind protection obviously more aimed at like harley davidson's touring line so if you're looking to do some distance to absolutely crush some miles this is definitely one of those fairings that fits the bill the road glide 
fairing, I forget what they call it. It's like the uh, the shark nose or something like that. The street glide fairing, pretty sure it's called the bat wing. It's still gonna provide a good amount of wind protection, but it doesn't provide as much wind protection as the road glide. Now, the great thing about these fairings is they've been in production for a while, so there's lots of options from Harley Davidson for them if you wanna outfit them, accessorize them with like better speakers, you know, like different windshields, stuff like that. And then the aftermarket for them is huge as well, so you can do a lot of stuff with them with the aftermarket also. Suspension on it feels great, very absorby, and the seat is just wicked comfortable. You're just in an absolute bubble of protection from the wind behind this thing, so huge perk, obviously, of the Road Glide fairing. Now, for those of you interested in trikes, you might be interested in a trike for a variety of reasons. We've done a couple trike conversions. We are very pro-trike at uh, the shop at Blockhead Garage. You know, you could be looking at them for a number of reasons. If you're maybe uh, not the best at balance and you want to remove that factor, that's uh, definitely one of the good things is like, you guys probably haven't noticed, but I haven't put my feet down like at all since I've been starting this ride. Oh, it's so weird, like trying to teach myself to stay in the center of the lane. Because traditionally you do not want to be in the center of the lane because of uh, oil and coolant and all the other stuff that cars usually leak. And then the turning, oh man, it's like they're kind of fighting it. Handling is so different. All right, let's get on a little bit. We're in second gear. glass man it's interesting because obviously you're feeling way more of the road because of the rear wheels but like I said the uh, the fact that you're behind like this nice little bubble of protection with uh, the road glide fairing man it just feels like great obviously with the weight of the road glide 3 you know and trikes in general they are gonna be heavier right so they're not gonna get quite up to speed quite as fast as the rest of the Harley Davidson lineup, you're looking at a lot more weight between the different classes. So the weight of the Road Glide 3 is this, and then the weight of a regular Harley Davidson Road Glide is this. The weight of a soft tail, say like a soft tail lowrider, is this. And the weight of a soft tail standard is this. So those all share the same engine platform, right? The Milwaukee 8. In this, we've got the 114, which is a plenty capable engine. But yeah, with that added weight, obviously it's not gonna have as much get up and go. However, with these engines, Harley Davidson does offer a number of performance parts and upgrades through Screaming Eagle. And then there's also a absolute ton of aftermarket options for you guys if you're wanting to upgrade the engine. We've been seeing a lot of really great performance numbers with just a stage two on these engines. So basically a cam. So if you do like a cam and a tune, then whatever else you want to do, if, uh, if you're in there, cam plate, oil pump, blah, blah, blah. If you guys want to book service, head over to blockheadgarage.com, fill out the form, let us know. We'll get you guys on our schedule. A shameless plug. <laughs> but yeah, you can open up these engines a lot with uh, just a stage two. Uh, you can get quite an increase in horsepower and torque numbers. I'm going to go ahead and bust the U-turn here. Braking on this actually feels really good. Just had to get on brakes kind of quickly there. So hard, dude. I'm not actually. Let's see what the turning radius of this thing is. <laughs> right back where I was. There you go. I obviously can't go as quick in the corners. Like it feels like the rear tires want to lift up if I push too hard. It's so funny, like with the rear wheels and how much you feel the road, like the unevenness of like the two parts of the road. It kind of feels like it's like it's wandering a little bit, but it's not. It's just that your seat just kind of shifting a little. So regarding ergonomics, I am five foot ten inches tall, nice and average. I don't know what my inseam is. It's something that you guys always yell at me about in these videos. So sorry. Yeah, this is what my legs are looking like as I'm riding it. My knees are bent. My left leg, they're not touching any like hot engine parts or components. And then like coming to a stop, like I said, you're not supposed to put your feet down, but if you are coming to a stop putting your feet down, it's uh, no problem there. Knees are gonna be bent, but yeah, unless you're getting on or off the bike, 
you don't really have any need to push your feet down. So yeah, I forgot I was talking about like reasons uh, for getting a trike. So yeah, there's a bunch of reasons to get a trike. We've gone over them in a couple of videos, but you know, just to reiterate, like I was saying, if you're wanting to take out that balance factor, if you do have trouble with balance, you know, I know a lot, like some people have trouble with balance, you know, they've got, you know, some kind of condition or like something inner ear vertigo. Well, I had, I actually kind of struggled with vertigo for a little bit there. I figured out it was allergies that were just really me up. But if you want to remove balance from the equation, but still feel your knees in the breeze, your hair in the wind, a trike is a great option. There could be a number of other reasons as well. Trikes are also a good answer for those people that are still wanting to ride that might have other medical concerns or complications. So Chris, Sick Wide Glide, he's built a number of trikes for people that are disabled. So we've had disabled veterans and stuff like that. And then a trike is a great answer. So if you want to still feel like you're riding a two-wheeled motorcycle, but you need to take out the balance factor, a trike is a great way to keep your knees in the breeze. So more power to you, you know, if you want to go the trike route. Fun fact, we do actually want to buy a trike and customize and build it out, but it would be very like, I mean, it wouldn't, wouldn't look like a normal trike after we're done with it. So yeah, we'll keep you guys posted on that as we get there. The seat feels nice and comfy, obviously as it should, because it's a touring bike. I feel like riding it like a normal bike, but I got to keep remembering like, this thing's got a big old booty. <laughs> Leaning on these things, like taking turns and speed is so weird. Oh, brakes work great. Good brakes. Dual discs on the front. Plenty of weight on this thing to definitely need dual discs. Sounds like there's some racing going on. So after this demo ride, we're actually headed into the Speedway. Check out the King of the Baggers races. Dude, this paired with a recluse automatic clutch. You know, you could like leave it in first gear and just like let clutch out and it'll still run. That would be such a great combo because you could literally like just boom, first gear, let the clutch out and then pull back on throttle whenever you're ready to uh, keep going. I think one of the things I did forget to mention when I was talking about like the engine performance and stuff like that, like I said, 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8, dual exhaust, six speed transmission, suspension feels good, the ergonomics feel good. I'm pretty much like sitting straight upright. The bars, the way that they come back, I've got some bend in my arms. I'm traditionally used to like being like more out here, you know, fists in the air kind of thing, flying like Superman and stuff. I'm used to being like here like on my bike. This, I definitely start to feel it in the wrists after a bit, but that's just because of what I'm used to. I think that's probably one of like my biggest points of criticism on like the Road Glide in general. And so, you know, now the Road Glide 3 is the bars. I'm not like the most comfortable with them just because of how far they come back. I feel like a little T-Rex, got some T-Rex arms. I mean, nobody keeps the stock bars on these things. Everybody like swaps them out, right? So anyways, that wraps up the uh, test ride on the Harley Davidson Road Glide 3. Hope you guys enjoy the uh, specs and that crispy b-roll and all that if you guys have any questions on it do me a favor post them down in the comments below be sure to check out the link that i drop in the description as well those detailed tech specs and all that you guys can definitely find them there if you guys want to follow us on instagram you guys can follow us at blockhead moto yee we actually post a bunch of stuff on our instagram that like we don't post on the channel so you guys can get like those nice exclusive sneak peeks like a lot more like current content if you guys uh check that out holy flags over there jesus that's insane but yeah, like I was saying, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want those insights, check out the link. If you guys did enjoy the video, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, if you want to continue to see motorcycle content like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, be part of that bell, yeah, squad. Or do the ding thing. Hope you guys are enjoying the bike week videos. Hope you guys are enjoying the test ride videos and all that stuff. Till next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.